can do that. so distracted why do you play i can't even play rhythm okay so we are back uh, welcome 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 with quest we're uh modal modal jams right oh yeah okay so check it out i'm gonna leave his links below he's got an awesome channel that's like mode madness so go there there's jam tracks all that kind of stuff that's by the way you're gonna hear my good. kids out there they're playing <laughs> so they'll be the, we'll have an audience so anyways so this mode is a Dorian. A Dorian. Yeah, we were uh, jamming on a bit of A Dorian. Just getting into it there. Okay. Like, <laughs> finding my mojo. It's, it's, it's my little, fault. Little, <laughs> I was like, oh, here it comes. So show them what A Dorian uh, is in a pentatonic sense, how you add it, and then we'll go back to the jam, and I promise I'll think about rhythm playing this time. I was, I was just like, <laughs> I got sucked in, and I was just like, oh, no, there goes my rhythm. Dude, you're awesome. Um, okay, so. Um, yeah, so, so ba I mean, basically. Minor mode, right? Yeah, okay. it's a totally minor mode, you know, as in it's got a, uh, a flat third, okay. a minor third. So if we look at it from like a um, minor pentatonic in your good old box shape like yeah. this one. All faithful. Yeah. You know, if we got that one there, yeah. all we're doing, and pentatonic penta means five, right? Yeah. So um, it's already five notes and all the, you know, the, the major scale modes, they right. obviously have seven notes. So okay. We only got... Two, two more, more notes to add. Sweet. So makes it's, it easy. <laughs> it makes it easy, yeah. So, uh, so what we got is um, we got the second. So you know your um, A minor pentatonic is like the the one, the flat three, the four, the five, and the flat seven. Okay. Um, and now we are adding the the natural second. So oh, the, okay. the second there. And then we are also going to add this. So let's play it down here. Um, which is your natural six, oh, and that's the uh, the uh, that's your that's your jazzy vibes. That's right. the that's the colorful stuff right there. You can play it up there as well. Oh right, I'm just kind of that's the metal way. <laughs> or, yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, but uh, however you play it, okay. you know you're you're basically adding that second sure. note and that. Um, Sixth there, so oh, got so, it. So there you have it, and then going up, you got the second note there. And there you got your your right. natural six. So it's super similar to the minor mode. Totally is just yeah. one note difference. Which Correct. Is the, uh, yeah, that one. Which is the major six. Yeah. yeah. So so for minor. Yeah. We got that flat, uh, sorry, the, um, yeah, the flat six there. And the reason is, right, because of the D, D chord, the, the third. Uh, so see? The, the, Look at you. <laughs> All right. So the D chord obviously has the F sharp, right. yeah, so. So, uh, so the, yeah, there we have it. Uh, so that's kind of what fits over that progression that okay. we were just playing. Yeah. Um, okay, I cut you off jamming-wise because I, I, dropped, I dropped the ball. Let's do it again. Ready? Two, three.
Dude, I, I wanted to stop you like 30 seconds ago. There's some blazing riffs in there. Okay, so where do you even begin? Like, what, like let's go to Dorian 101 and we're going to take the let's i'll slow down the chord progression mm -hmm. and then you show them maybe you know okay check it out we're gonna play it with the c and the d those mm -hmm. are the important ones we're just so we're thinking a minor pentatonic for the most part right totally yeah totally and then we're gonna drop in the notes of the yeah so yeah so really what i was doing a lot was aiming for um for that color note yeah. sometimes yeah. like but actually, this progression was uh, called me out a couple of times, like because it's you were having you were having the C there, and then just for a brief moment, yeah, the the D. So yeah. if you're playing an F sharp over the C, oh right, that's actually quite a, maybe more jazzy than you'd sure. like it to be. Um, <laughs> you went outside for a yeah. moment. <laughs> um, so, but so, so yeah, I was kind of uh, aiming it's a martini for, note. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So let me go slow. You know, yeah, well, yeah. that one's a nice little double stop to do. Okay, so that that's from the D chord itself. That's from the D chord, yeah. So I'm like, you know, uh, out of this shape. Yeah, yeah. Because that that has that colorful yeah. note and it just sits really well. Okay. You can continue out there. And then, um, what, was, what else was I doing? I was uh, kind of traveling. Now, is that all just pentatonic, or are you adding the, some of the Dorian? The, the, there I was uh, being very pentatonic about it, yeah. Um, but I think what I did before... Oh, cool, yeah. I yeah, added yeah. a little bit of that. Oh, dude, break that down slow, that was cool. Okay, so so I'm, I'm going, you know... Uh, let's, let, let, me see if I, let me see if I can maybe do an actual little lick here. Okay, well, what's cool about that, and I don't think people are realizing, well, maybe they are, right? Maybe they're not, but if you think about it, the licks that you're playing, right? You started here, right uh -huh. on this chord, and then when you went up to the C, you added, uh -huh. notes right out of that C chord, right? Uh -huh. And then you did the same thing. Right there. So again, it's all about seeing. That's really all the. I found all the modes really are is being able to see those other chord tones inside of a scale. That's why I always relate everything to the pentatonic scale mm -hmm. because it, it, if it's if you know major or minor pentatonic and the key A or whatever, and you find those other like the D, what we're saying that major third, mm -hmm. that's the note that really makes it sound like a mode. And it's that's the same it. way. It's the same thing because a lot of the people that I run into that are ridiculous musicians have no idea what theory is yeah, but they yeah. say they can see the chords all over the neck and it's yeah. really apples and, you know it's, you, it's the same thing you just crystallized yeah. how i think about it because yeah. it, it, that that's it you know you're, you're like oh you're like thinking old pentatonic and yeah. then you just know that yeah that there's some some tastiness in that yeah. one there so you're just aiming for aiming for that yeah I, so you got your pentatonic and then you yeah. got your little tasty stuff yeah outside of it any of those yeah. i mean even because you're your d triads right there you know so it's all those notes that that would work i mean and it's that note that's really different yeah yeah i was trying to do a little i did a little lick as well um so when you were playing the c uh -huh. oh that's killer. so i was trying to yeah so, so the first go, bend is bending into the c right? yeah which obviously ends on this note yeah. which is yeah, or your C chords right here, right? Yeah, so but it's, it's yeah, it's your fifth of the C, yeah, uh -huh. and then um, which yeah, is obviously the third, third of the D of the D, and then I was going uh, well, you could go which uh, is, oh, right. is, the, is the fifth of the A. Uh, hey. So I'm thinking, I'm, yeah. I'm preaching your gospel. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm doing the chord tone thing. Yeah, like because that's but that's I mean, everything. You yeah, know? yeah, no, it's, yeah. it's the color and it's the. It's like the, the you know the, the sound of home, right? You know, it's like tension and, and release. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get let's get you jam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally interrupt you because you're doing so many good licks. I can't just let them go by. <laughs> Thanks, man. So, so I'll stop you in the middle of the jam. You want, you want the slow version or the quicker version? I'm down with whatever. Okay. Let's do let's do slower a little All bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
What are those? In- those are cool interval. Oh yeah, uh, I shifts. Was, I was uh. Okay, let me I see. was doing. Uh, I mean, this is like just doing uh, fourths. Okay. So these are intervals of fourth. So you go one, two, three, four, and then from the next note you go one, two, three, four. Okay. So you're basically skipping up four notes all the time. Yeah. So it's basically playing Dorian mode. Yeah. In in uh, in intervals. Oh, so you're literally just stacking the notes right on top of each other. Yeah. Basically. So. It's kind of a, it's a slow nice... Slow that down one more time. Really, really slow. Yeah, so, I mean, from the top, it's like... Rolling like this. So the only place it really gets wonky is that, that interval between the G and the... That's really awkward, yeah. Otherwise, it's just kind of a pattern of stacking on top of each other. Yeah, and I, I just love that kind of uh, that, that kind awesome. of sound. But what I like even more is when you stack three thirds. Oh, I mean, sorry, three, come on. Three, uh, three fourths. Yeah. So you got uh, you got. That one's actually more fun if you go up the neck. Awesome. I've so, never done that before. That, that's a good one. I like it's that. A, that's really fun. I, yeah. I just I just like that. It's kind of a, a j- kind of from a j- the jazz world kind of thing. Sure. I think McCoy Tyner, like the the, p- the piano player. Oh, okay. Like he he did a lot a lot of like stacks of fourths. Okay. In his piano playing, so it's kind of out of that uh, drawer. Now, do you listen to other um, instruments to get phrasing ideas? Okay, so mm. let's break some of that down because a lot of people just listen to guitar players, and once you start listening to other musicians, your whole mind's gonna explode. So yeah, yeah. What's your go-to two instruments? Your two go-to other instruments other than guitar? Uh, it's uh, sax, you know, okay. uh, like Coltrane and um, Charlie Parker. Like, yeah. uh, in ter- I mean, in Ridiculous. terms of the jazz, anyway. Yeah, um, yeah th- those two guys are probably the ones that have colored my playing the most. Okay, and so... Uh, um, and, but another would be piano. Okay, so yeah. piano... But obviously piano is annoying for a guitar player because right. they can do stuff that, you know... Yeah. We can, you know, you, yeah. can, you can try, but yeah. you know, you haven't got, got that many fingers. I mean, you can, you, you can maybe yeah. in certain ways, but you know, they just uh, they have a lot of harmonic, yeah, possibility. Possibility. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of my buddies was telling me um, this guy Rob in, in Nashville said um, Ray Charles, and I never would have thought of Ray Charles to like for guitar phrasing, but then when you go back and listen to him, like ah, uh, mm. yeah. and it's ridiculous, like. The way he uses chords and goes in between chord and the chord progression and stuff is really awesome, and and you can actually, yeah, you know, apply it to guitar too. But I, that really, I, I when I was young and I started noticing players that didn't do typical guitar stuff because I grew up in the '80s and it was all just <laughs> shred. But when I started hearing guitar players, it was always people that said horn guys, horn guys, horn guys, and it was like okay, and then yeah, it yeah. does. It makes it makes Michael a huge Brecker. Who's like from Michael? the Bre- from the Brecker brothers, like he's uh, well, he sadly passed away, but like he he's one of those uh, kind of like Coltrane that you can just you know just just picking out like a couple of um, patterns of his is just like what did I what just now happened? could you apply a horn lick to like the Dorian playing like is there like because I know that a lot of cr- the stuff is chromatic that uh, horn guys do they're so fluid do those bastards yeah I mean <laughs> yeah a lot of the the stuff that I picked up from. Um, for like somebody like um, from like somebody like Michael Becker or, or Coltrane, that's actually more like that. That that's yeah. more like um, you know like di- um, something like diminished, dominant, kind of diminished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's exactly what it yeah. is. So you know that that's that kind of vibe. 
Um, so if I played the chord progression, can you do any of that kind of stuff? Uh, well, it w I mean, the diminished obviously wouldn't just wouldn't really not fit. as dramatic, but like watch it. Yeah. What? Well, what I would do is. <laughs> you know, it's it's that kind of thinking. Okay, what was that? Uh, okay, so it's so, very arpeggio based, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah okay. that's what it is. I think oh, that's what that's I, I think that's what I did. So, so I'm going up. I mean, that's kind of the extended notes of an A. I'm thinking A minor. Yeah. But I'm thinking like the extended notes. So I'm going the fifth, the the, the flat seven, and the ninth. Okay. Or, or really, I'm just thinking E minor. Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. you know, you can think of this in a variety of ways, but because you can also just think that I'm thinking kind of E minor yeah. uh, over A minor because that works. Um, <laughs> because it does. Yeah, yeah, no, but uh, well, going back, going back to pentatonics, yeah. like if you think E minor pentatonic, yeah. I mean, um, play the thing and I'll, and I'll just play okay. E minor pentatonic. You know, so many, they share so many of the same notes. Apart from the very last note there, yeah. or the penultimate note, that yeah. was just the amount of pentatonic. So, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. It just, it just like it's such a so close. It's a, it's so close, yeah. But and it brings out some of the color. Yeah. So so you can kind of think of it like that. But anyways, I mean, going back to that one. What's well, the five chord, anyways, right? In the A minor progression. Yeah, totally. Okay, so. Okay, wait, wait, you get that whole first bit. Yeah, so I'm like doing a bit of a sweep here. Basically E minor, um, seven, E minor seven arpeggio, if okay. you like. So, like this, so, um, ninth fret of the G string, eighth fret of the B string, seventh, seventh fret of the E string, and then up to the 10th fret, and then I'm doing, um, similar mm, to uh, a lick like that. that we uh, had yeah. gone on before. So like, just basically going down chromatically and creating some tension yeah. and then sort of releasing it there, but not really. And then hitting up that Check that that, uh, that colorful note that, yeah. we, that we like. Yeah. Uh, and then there again, so now I'm thinking E minor uh, and going up what you could basically think of as an E minor 9. Yeah. Uh, or you can think of it as me going What's up. What's that last shift? Because it, it's the same arpeggio, basically, that you used before. But yeah. That, except for that tail end. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's like going up. Uh, if you think of it from E minor perspective, oh. then, it's like, then it's like going yeah. up to the, you know, doing the ninth. But uh, since we're in mm -hmm. A minor, yeah. really, technically speaking, I'm doing this, the, the flat 7, the 9, the 11, and the 13. It's like all the, the most, the jazziest notes, <laughs> <laughs> like the, the upper right. extensions, yeah. like the, the stuff where it gets really jazzy. So, Martini notes. Ah, oh, sick. So, okay, hold on. Let's see if we can drag some more of those out of here. Those are great. Okay, so, two, three, four. <laughs> Down, dude. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There were some other cool jazz jazzisms in there. Yes, yes. I did. And that was actually similar to that. So that really basically is right out of E minor that you're playing. Yeah. Um, well, this one is um, this one. No, this but one. I mean, but the, almost like the E minor scale. If you. Oh yeah, totally. Okay, so that was almost like a E minor lick. Now, does that mean that A Dorian is actually the same thing as E minor? Yeah, so I mean, shape wise. Oh, yeah, I mean, wise. well, notes wise, yeah. Okay. I mean, E minor scale literally has the same notes as, as uh, A Doran. So, uh, you know, you can you can play your E minor yeah. scale and E minor licks all day long, as long as you, you know, realize the fact that the, the home yeah, note is, is different. Is, is A, you know? Yeah, it, yeah so. Mm -hmm. It probably even sound quite uh, colorful, you know, if you're thinking like E minor. Okay, so.
Okay, so you got a, like a bounce to your phrasing. It, it's uh, you listen to other other instruments, obviously, right? Yeah, 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 totally. I, I, you know, I think I, a lot of guitar players they they uh, they just listen to guitar players without realizing that like horn players, for instance, or mm -hmm. like uh, we were talking before, piano players have such a like a they'll have such a profound um, influence on the way that you phrase and the timing of of how you do it. That's where that kind of you know okay. That, that's where that kind of uh, stuff comes from, you know, where you're, um, you know, playing kind of arpeggiated ideas and yeah. then adding like chromatic stuff and, and circling around. Oh, you know, when, you nice. know that, that, that kind of stuff. That's very, that's very uh, out of that kind of school, yeah. you know, and I love that sort of stuff. Okay, so so uh, we're gonna go back to Dorian, but th then you also, well, let's let's do, so show, show us some arpeggiated horn style licks, but the, the timing and the, the bounce to it is is really what I'm getting across. So right, two, right. three, four. Okay, so how, how do you start getting that bounce? Like, what what's the? I mean, the one of the main things is my economy kind of picking uh, approach. Yeah. Cheater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, so uh, a lot of people might not know what economy picking is. So, what what is economy? Picking? I mean, it's basically sweet picking. But it's like you know, the, the foundation yeah. of economy picking is that you always you know if you're going in one direction, yeah, you pick your right hand, you keep going in that direction. So let me ask you this. So, so, and this is along the lines of economy picking. When you do a three note per string run, because this is how my friend, who's a ripping economy picker too, described it to me. He said, well, if you took a three note per string pattern, it would be down, up, down, down, instead of going up on the next note. Yeah. So you're like going through the notes almost. Yeah. So yeah. is that how you would play? Uh, uh, well, it depends on the... It depends on the context, yeah. But, but yeah, 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 totally. But like, like I, I like it in the context of, you know, like uh, wider intervals a lot of the time. Okay. So like, you know, for example, if you're playing a, a an arpeggio, like I was just doing, uh, like that, or or if I was doing, you know, a. Okay, so like, so break that down slow and then show them what you're picking is. This this one here. Yeah. What? No. What you, that one you just did. This one. Yeah. I mean, uh, this is like, um, this is basically playing, um, this is like the A harm, uh, sorry, the A minor pentatonic, and ju but just uh, an, an interval kind of sequence where you're going up. You're going, you're basically always skipping a note and you're doing that twice, so to speak. So you're skipping a note to go there and skipping a note to go there. So it's like a, it's the principle of, principle of a stacked, um, it's the principle of like stacked Fourths, okay. but 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 applied within um, a, a minor pentatonic. That sounds very dry. <laughs> so, what, <laughs> so dry. What's the but, pattern? So so yeah, the pattern is. Oh, so these I see are fourths. So there's a couple of thirds yeah. in there, but 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 this is uh, mainly fourths. So I'm basically yeah. going. You could just go down, down, down. But I, I prefer to you know I don't the, the, to get the vibe into that is yeah. doesn't really sit with me so I, I like to go up down down up down down because you have to go up to get up anyway oh, so you okay. go up down down up down down interesting you have a really loose grip too huh Do you have a loose grip on your pick yeah. yeah yeah you have to have a kind of a you have to have the yeah yeah you got to have the the, the sexy funk. Uh, right. Kind of vibe <laughs> on your wrist if you're like you know yeah if you're like, like that it's just, you can't manhandle it's not gonna it. it's no, delicate exactly yeah it's delicate you're treating a lady yeah, that's it mm -hmm. smooth <laughs> that's why it's so smooth and okay so <laughs> awesome yeah okay. so that's it nice dude so yeah it's just a little sort of a um, pattern but but yeah the the point being that yeah you know, it kind of can, can kind of give you that little bounce. <laughs> You do that a lot. I didn't. I, now that I actually get to watch you play, you, you break and do that kind of stuff a lot. 
Dude. Okay, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff. So it did, it, it, yeah, it's, right. it's fun. Okay, we gotta get back to Dorian. God, I'm gonna get okay. lost in all these killer licks. Okay, so let's let's stick to mere mortal speed and just go sexy. Sexy time, ready? All right. That was cool. Okay, wait, wait, I know that was just pentatonic, but yes, all those kind of bends. So uh, it's like the what do you call those kind of bends? They're like, almost like microtonal okay. bends or whatever. Okay. Like, okay. yeah, it was almost. I mean, it sounded kind of out first, but yeah, it's called kind of like the almost Indian. Yeah, exactly. Going all sitar on us. Very good. Okay, so what, <laughs> let me see that. Okay, so what, what's an example of how you did that? Uh, Someone was okay, so up. wait. I want to. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but Ooh. I want people to know the context of this lick because if, if it just seems like a blues lick if they don't go through it. So A minor, mm -hmm. you got right, and then we went to C, mm -hmm. which is also right here, mm -hmm. part of the licks you were doing, and then our D's right here. So I just want people to visualize the chords that you're playing that lick over, and then your lick's gonna make sense when, yes. when you do it. Okay, go ahead. So, so there I was, you know, this is when you, yeah, when you had the D. So I was really just trying to land on, yeah, on uh, some that would sit sexily against that. Sexily, nice. Because, uh, but yeah, um, so, but I, I think what I was thinking there actually was like more sonically almost yeah. than, than harmonically, yeah. if, if that makes yeah. sense. Do you know what right. I mean? Like I was just like. Let's bring a different vibe. So, yeah. so then you know. You, what, what's the notes you're bending on? Like, sure. Uh, I was bending on the the fourth here, which okay. is obviously the, the D on the twelfth fret, and the seventh. You can bend on any of them. So, uh, so you're doing that on almost all of them. Almost, yeah. I don't think I'm not sure if I bend on the on the root note, but you can totally do that. But. So let's do it again in context. <laughs> you like picking back by the bridge too, that's awesome. Okay, two, Okay, so end of the day, Dorian, what, what's the the notes you want to pay attention to? Yes, yeah. So it's your it's your, it's your natural sixth, the F sharp. Mm -hmm. Now, do you do that on the D chord or any of the chords? You can do it with you know where, wherever, but obviously when there is a D chord around, mm -hmm. it's like that's when it's like ooh, yeah, that, mm -hmm. that, that that's, that's when it feels good. really good. But you, <laughs> you know, just even some some like that, you know, going down, you can fit that on like any anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, in, in, in the context of like a Dorian vibe. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Did you get some? Is there places where you're tabbing out some of your some of your licks? 
Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. No, yeah, I have, yeah, I have, I have like tabs for, yeah. <laughs> for for a lot of it. Actually, I've okay, start, started tabbing out more of them because right. I've been asked like yeah. obviously for them. So I thought, right. okay, well, I'll make some tabs. So, so in your personal videos, it's you explaining what mode you're in. You're jamming over a chord progression, and then you just play the 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 track so people can jam to it. Right? Is that basically the the format? Uh, yeah. The, well, my format is like it's very much music. Yeah. It's, uh, it, the music is there. For you know, other people to go and explore yeah. you know, specific things like this, like a Dorian okay. context. So you know, um, to get some Dorian licks, to be yeah. inspired by maybe some Dorian licks, and then go and explore themselves, and, and like you know, uh, um, fi for people to find their own voice, whether you, whether they're like totally starting out or not. Yeah. You, know, you can you know you don't need to know a lot to uh, to to get started yeah. and, and exploring like uh, music you know and so I, I put you know some guidance in the in the description that people sure. can say okay try out these notes yeah. and then I play a few licks that okay that, so you're that giving them something yeah, yeah. some like yeah. uh, you know some uh, sentences yeah. to, to musical sentences to try and speak over the yeah they got some words vibe. yeah some words right, to right, form right. but then they eventually you know the, the idea is that people will form their own language you know write your own novel that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there is a demonstration in the beginning that you play, and then now is it are all of them tabbed out, or is it like? Uh, no, no, well, I haven't tapped out all of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I have made over like five hundred tracks. Oh my gosh! So I there, did there, not there's, realize. there's a few there, but but uh, but you know, I've I've, I've started uh, tabbing a lot oh, more. Oh, cool! Though. I've got a few people helping me do it actually. Now the, is that um. It, accessible like below the video or how do they get the tabs how do they know which ones are tabbed out yeah well, there, there's always a the links on, the, oh, cool. on each video there's there's okay. links that you can see if there's a tab and also i i like people when people request tabs yeah i usually say yeah sure yeah and, and get them made so you know whenever there's anything that people are like yeah oh, i wish i could play that yeah and then all they gotta do is let, right. me, let me know and and, uh, and and i get those made yeah but yeah i mean uh i don't know i don't play all the intros myself yeah to, to all the 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 tracks um i also get guests you know would oh, love, seriously? I'd love to have you as a oh guest. sweet embarrass myself that'd be awesome <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't if you tried um you know it's uh it's been fun like having a few guests on yeah. the channel as well because i mean I, I i don't want it to just be the you know the the, yeah. the me show yeah i mean um do you know what i mean yeah I'm like, the exact uh, same i way. love that you know we can yeah like that you know you can cross worlds with right. so, with so many people in that kind of way it's yeah a fantastic, absolutely uh, like way to communicate well because that's kind of we all learn from people that we like and we all have our influences and it's so interesting to see other people's perspectives and just like one little thing can make such a big difference like oh my gosh i never would have thought of it that way right totally that's, uh let, let's give him a, let's give him an outro jam so again check out his channel for loads and loads it sounds like of jam track ideas i'm gonna leave the links down below don't forget to subscribe to the channels, his and mine, and click the bells, and that'll let you know when the new videos come out. All right, outro jam, you ready? Yeah. Fast or slow? However you like to okay, go. Okay, well, you got some sizzling legs, so we'll, we'll give it a little heat. All right, two. Tuner, tuner jam. <laughs>
That's awesome, man. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Absolutely. Catch you next time.